So this is my review on the Pioneer 1200 BTU one ton ductless AC system. I uh, just got this system in a few days ago, had it installed today by a, a professional heating and air conditioning company here locally. Saw a bunch of YouTube videos on installing these things, thought I could do it myself, and then quickly realized that I can't. So I went ahead and hired uh, the professionals who do a bunch of these systems, and they, uh, they vouch for them. They say they're very good, they're very efficient systems. This one's a 13-sear system. It's not crazy, but the whole reason why I got it was because we have two AC units in our home, one unit for our downstairs, the other unit for our upstairs. And the downstairs AC unit at night for our master bedroom um, has to cool the entire house to cool our master bedroom. And because our master bedroom stays a little bit warmer than the rest of the house, it in turn makes it run all night long. Whereas this system, we can turn our downstairs unit up to 75 to 80 degrees so it's not cooling the whole house. And then this system can simply freeze out our bedroom, which is what we like. We like to sleep real cold at night. So... A few things about the system. It's very compact. This unit on the wall is only, uh, I'd probably say about two and a half feet long by about maybe a foot, 10 inches tall, and comes off the wall by about eight inches. It's not a big, big device at all. Um, a couple things I really like about it. Here's the remote, and it has a, a several different features here. You can see, you can set it from a uh, feel, which means it detects and uses a sensor to detect the comfort level of the room, and it tries to optimize how it blows the air to, you know, really make the room feel comfortable. And then you can switch it to cool, which it's currently on, dry, which is a dehumidifier. So of course an AC is also a dehumidifier, but this allows you just to dehumidify the room without having to use the AC. And then it has the fan mode just for ventilation and then a heat mode, because it's also a heat pump as well as an air conditioner. As you can also see, you can adjust your fan speeds by pressing the fan button and you can change it from automatic um, to where it's a thermostat setting from high, mid, to low. Right now it's on uh, mid, medium. If I put it on high, you can really barely hear the unit. It's extremely quiet. I'm not talking loud at all. I'm talking at my normal conversational tone. So as you can tell, I mean, it's not gonna be a unit that's gonna keep you up at night, even in a bedroom. And my wife is a very light sleeper and she even really likes how, uh, how quiet the unit is. Also, if you hit the swing button, it simply adjusts it so the louvers that go up and down start rotating automatically up and down. Um, keep in mind, it does not swing side to side. It only swings up and down. So right now you may pick up a little wind noise because it's blowing right at the phone. It actually has a very powerful fan and you can really feel the air all the way across the room. It's on high right now and, and even if I talk at a low tone, you can still hear me clearly over it. It's just a very quiet unit. If I had to say the number one uh, pro that this unit has is how quiet it is. I would probably say, you know, it's the equivalent of a um of a regular fan in your room if you're gonna have a, a fan like a, a countertop fan or if you like to sleep with the fan on it's probably just as loud as a fan on a low setting so that's how quiet it is i think you'd really get a kick out of it um, it has a thermostat built in again it's also a heater air conditioning dehumidifier and vent system you can probably see the little cock line across the bottom here and the only reason that's there is because the ac people thought it would be a neater job to put it on there i actually think it, it kind of looks sloppy so but, you know, they, they were doing what they thought was the best. I'll probably peel it off and paint over it or something. But the unit looks really nice on the wall. It takes very little room, and it's very quiet. I'm going to go to the outside unit now and kind of give you a walkthrough of it. Okay, so here's the outside unit. The unit's about the same width as the inside, about two and a half feet. Um, it's about 20 inches tall, and it's about 10 inches deep. Um, this is actually a 110, 120 volt unit, so you don't need to run any high current power to it. Um, you do have to have a uh, have it on its own circuit, which is something that uh, I had the professionals run. This uh, conduit right here was only because when I ordered this kit for $50 extra to cover up all the wire, it didn't quite reach and it only made it about halfway down this window I'm running beside. So I'm gonna order another kit to continue it and then use the flex here at the end to cover up the wires going into the unit itself. Um, the unit itself back here, the condenser actually has a sensor on it that detects if the condenser itself needs to run or not. So it'll actually turn the unit off if the temperature gets to a point to where it doesn't require the fan running. The unit's running right now. As you can see, the blade is spinning. It's very quiet. I can talk again very, very quiet. You can still hear over it. It's a, an extremely quiet system. Um, you can even write up to it. 
it's still barely audible. I mean, you really can't hear the unit running. I have a fountain in my pool, which is, you know, a good 30 or 40, closer to 50 feet away from me, and I can hear the fountain over the air conditioning unit. So again, this is the Pioneer unit, uh, most commonly seen on Amazon.com for about $700, about $675 to $700. Um, I do highly recommend you get the installation cover kit, which is simply the plastic right here that covers all of your cables. It comes with 16 feet of cable. It actually came with enough um, copper wire to fully complete the installation job as well as power. And then the only other thing you'd have to pay, of course, is your installation company to come out, or your uh, electrical company to come out and hook up a box. I put an extra large box in only because um, I want a circuit for my shed or my workshop next door. So this was convenient for them to go ahead and run this next to our house. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the review and I highly recommend this unit. It's ab ab absolutely a good purchase.